ano ang managagawa ng submarine. The upgraded 48 Malawian Quach's Mod 7 torpedo variant will arm the U.S. Navy's Columbia-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines with a longer range, more lethal, and more capable conventional weapon. While lesser recognized than the Columbia's nuclear-capable ballistic missiles, the 48 Malawian Quach's add substantial new dimensions to the boat's lethality and mission scope. The first Columbia-class submarine, the USS District of Columbia, will be armed with 48 Malawian Quach's torpedoes, according to a recently published Naval Sea Systems Command report. At the same time, the upgraded 48 Malawian Quach's torpedo is also introducing paradigm-changing quieting technologies to help ensure the highly secretive Columbia-class submarines remain undetected while at sea. The upgraded variant of the U.S. Navy's 48 Malawian Quach's torpedo has some stealthy characteristics. An earlier version, the 48 Malawian Quach's Mod 6, has been operational since 1997 while the more recent Mod 7 has been in service since 2006. Since that time, Lockheed Martin has been working on upgrades to the 48 Malawian Quach's Torpedo Mod 6 and Mod 7 which consist of adjustments to the guidance control box, broadband sonar acoustic receiver, and amplifier components. The latest version of the MK-48 ADCAP, Advanced Capability, is the Mod 7 Common Broadband Advanced Sonar System. The MK-48 ADCAP Mod 7 Bass Torpedo is the result of a joint development program with the Royal Australian Navy and achieved initial operational capability in 2006, a spokesman with Naval Sea Systems Command told the national interest several years ago during an early phase of its development. The Common Broadband Advanced Sonar System Bass is a system of electronics that are placed into the nose of the weapon as part of its guidance section, Lockheed Martin and U.S. Navy developers explained. Bass technology provides streamlined targeting, quieter propulsion capabilities, and the ability to operate with improved effectiveness in shallow and deep water. Also, the Mod 7 decreases the weapon's vulnerability to enemy countermeasures and allows the torpedo to transmit and receive over a wider frequency band, Lockheed Martin and U.S. Navy developers said. The new technology also involves adjustments to the electronic circuitry to allow the torpedo to better operate in an undersea environment. Modifications to the weapon have improved the acoustic receiver, replaced the guidance and control hardware with updated technology, increased its memory, and improved processor power throughout to handle the expanded software demands required to improve the torpedo's performance against evolving threats, according to U.S. Navy data on the weapon. Improved propulsion, quieting technology, targeting systems, and range enhancements naturally bring a substantial tactical advantage to U.S. Navy undersea combat operations. Attack submarines are often able to operate closer to enemy targets and coastlines undetected, reaching areas typically inaccessible to deeper draft surface ships. Such an improvement would also enable attack submarines to better support littoral surface platforms such as cruisers, destroyers, and even carriers. Working in tandem with surface ship anti-submarine and surface warfare systems, attack submarines with a more capable torpedo could better identify and attack enemy targets near coastal areas and shallow water. What does it look like inside the submarine? The most obvious advantage is the ability to dive beneath the surface, thus avoiding gunfire and nullifying most weapons. While far from enabling stealth in most conditions due to how spotting is done, it enables submarines to approach targets for torpedo attacks. A 
Countries like Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Vietnam already have submarine programs. Over the recent years, new submarine aspirants have also emerged in Southeast Asia. The Philippines and Thailand have long had submarine plans, so it comes as no surprise.